Hi everybody, Mark Pierce, Everything WordPress Security Alliance. Now I have an interesting brief introduction of how you can be attacked while on the internet even though you have protection running. Now let me explain real quick. This is going to be very short which will be eight to ten minutes because what needs to be done on this particular uh, malware attack that happened to me this morning June 25th 2014 and I'm sharing it with you because I have multiple layers of security running on my machine and I still was attacked but you if you're running the right protection it'll catch it and you'll be able to isolate what the problem is so what I wanted to share with everybody today is first of all how it happened uh, yesterday I was on a hangout on air although let me clarify this is not caused by Google or Google Plus or by Chrome specifically it's it's actually caused by a Java uh, script that runs via your browser while you're on the internet so that's just the tip of the iceberg in today's brief presentation. If you see here, uh, I have Hijack Free running. Now, what triggered me to run this, I generally run this every day. So I want to clarify, everybody should be running a multiple layers of malware protection, more than one and more than two. I run at least three, but I can alternate four, maybe even five uh, manually. But what's running automatically, what triggered it is I run what's called a small program here called Malwarebytes Anti-Exploit. Now I want to show you how I figured this out. First of all, if you're not running the Malware Anti-Exploit, you probably should at least try it. But I will tell you the one drawback that I have found, you must shut it off during Hangout on Airs because it could be part of the trigger because if it catches a piece of JavaScript running in your browser, again it's not coming from Google, that it'll actually shut down your hang hangout on air and that's exactly what happened so that was my sign there was something wrong so I finished the hangout on air it was a private one and I came back in and checked my logs because this will come up and say exploit caught and what I found out by looking at the logs I'm going to show you real quick here that the real problem happened actually yesterday it was uh, at this time it, it tells me that this prog program was blocked so it, it, it alerted me that this is possibly a Java malware attack. That's step one. So the next step is to find out what auto runs have been altered to alter and inject the malware onto my local system because remember it was introduced via the browser. Okay? So stay with me everybody on this because it's really important that we understand how malware acts. Anybody right now who opens a browser and goes on the internet is vulnerable to these type of attacks and this is a major problem so let me show you real quick so then my next tool I opened up was MZ soft um, hijack free correct but here's how you use it it's free by the way you can download download it at MZ soft also on a couple of my sites you can get a link there for now I just want to get to the real problem uh, the basic introduction only so how you locate a problem like this and how it's attacking your system is you you click on what's called auto runs on the left here it opens up and I want to show you there's two problems right now running this is one I've been working on for a while and that's this one right here it's called Google Chrome auto launch this is not Google itself that runs this um, attack this is coming through a different uh, the internet again and I did do a brief presentation on this already so I'm just gonna check it since that's not what we want to work on today and get rid of it this is how you stop the processes from running here's the one that alerted me right here if you scroll down anything that's in red or yellow indicates there's a problem so the first thing what's nice about hijack free is you don't want to remove it right away because you need to study up and figure out what it is you could if you wanted to just by right clicking on it like this and deleting the auto run but in this case we're not going to do this what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually click the world at the right hand top next to the sprocket this world opens up what's called a very nice tool a browser that connects the problem now also I'm running what's called uh, the uh, 
malware bytes because malware bytes was supposed to catch this and I'm not sure if it did I'm still scanning this live as of right now it's 10:25 a.m. Pacific Standard Time here in Beaverton Oregon uh, at the time of the recording so what happens it breaks down all the issues that it finds well if you scroll down here this is a big problem I've, I've noticed this before it's called Sun Java update sked it actually runs through your common files and the the file that executes is called JUS or JUSCED.exe. Now here's what's nice about having MZSoft uh, you know running for you hijack free is awesome okay because it's free by the way uh, it'll show you good uh, good 5 and bad 11 that's a lot so 11 problems come up so you click on this link here it's called view details. I wanted to show everybody this because everybody can get the same information. You just got to know what to do with it. Now I'm going to break this down further later and, and by the way if you're interested in watching my breakdown analysis of every single one of these worms uh, we have a lot of stuff going on here and it all entered through this Java update or Java interface through the browser. Okay now what I'm going to show you is if there's a red X and that mean little devil face there if you scroll down to the very bottom I'm gonna show you that the X says definitely not required typically virus spyware adware or a resource hog well it can also be something else I'll show you the ones with the yellow uh, has an end by it like in November if you go down to that it says not require required but infrequently uses tasks that can be started manually if necessary okay now here's the real problem there's 11 here uh, this came within just a matter of a few seconds I rebooted this morning and guess what this is what I got now if you want to watch the detail breakdown analysis of every single uh, problem here and this is a Trojan number one okay uh, this is a Java developer script that comes through the browser right now I want to show you a little bit about this so you kind of understand you can get rid of it all if you don't really care to understand it but if you do want a, a breakdown analysis of all 11 the uh, video uh, tutorial will be provided only through my membership site at wpbackupservice.net that site is currently under construction and I'll try to make this available as soon as I can but in the future it will be available so if, if you have not signed up for our everything WordPress security analysis membership or or security uh, alliance excuse me <laughs> I'm thinking analysis make sure you do that here on Google Plus because uh, I can I'll trigger and I'll, I'll it's a circle I'll send you out an alert and then you'll know I have a new video available to let you know what's going on and I want to also stress real real powerfully and clearly here that WordPress security has a lot to do with which uh, I'm one of the few that's talking about this and I have no problem doing it put my neck out there because there is a correlation meaning malware that directly affects your local computer can also inject itself via the code and how it runs into uh, your your uh, your WordPress site now I'm not sure exactly how it does it yet I'm still working on the study back end of it. it's very complex all I know is these triggers can run remember from your local machine so I'll put it together kinda like in steps the malware attacks, attacks your local system first okay it's invisible you do not see it that's exactly what the hacker wants then the malware will trigger at a certain time depending on what it is so what if I'm just saying there's a possibility it could inject I'm not saying it will but I have a, a hunch that it can uh, basically the malware while you're logged into your admin panel while you're working on your site who says it can't inject itself there who knows right so I'd rather be safe than sorry is my my angle on this but it ends up that the WordPress everything WordPress security alliance that I started here on Google Plus was specifically to get the word out of what's going on with both WordPress security and malware now let's get on with the uh, brief overview for instance I'm gonna start with number one and I'm only gonna go over what it says here what it tells you it tells you exactly what you need to know it says here note this is not a legitimate Oracle uh, microsystem file or same name which is usually located in program files Java version number for its backslash bin this one is located in the Windows directory now let me stop there 
I have been presenting and sharing this with everybody here on Google Plus and all over the internet. One of the things that malware does, it duplicates file systems on your local system so it's easy for the, for the hacker to hide itself from you. If you have no way of pulling it out like this program does, you will not know the malware is on your system. All you'll know, you have signs of slowness. Now we're talking keyloggers, people. This is stuff that can hack into your bank account, okay? I'm not saying this one particularly does, but it can't, malware can. So be aware, this is serious business, okay? So I'm not gonna go through all these, but basically a lot of these, look at this one, this is a Trojan. The next one's called uh, just a piece of malware uh, itself. I look this, I'll look these up and break these down later. Uh, these yellow ones here are again Java updates. See if your Java version, a new Java version, is available. So available. So what I've noticed is, what happens is the script that is injected through your browser will run the Java update, and it's not legitimate. So while you're on your computer, you think it's legitimate. So let me clarify how powerful this is. This is called major deception. So you think while you're on your computer, everything's legit, right? All of a sudden you get a notice. You need to update your Java. Okay, I've done this myself. You click on it, it updates. Now, what happens? It injects this 11 <laughs> pieces of uh, malware on your system directly. Now, it's done that way to be deceptive for a reason, because it wants, again, to stay covert or invisible to you. So be very aware how and that's why I wanted to provide these video uh, tutorials so it can better educate everybody and again myself as I learn and understand how that works. Now if you go down to the next one down here it's called Banker-BOV uh, Trojan it goes on and says the same thing. This is not a legitimate file. It, it duplicates itself in the name but it's located in the wrong directory in your file system for Windows specifically. So what happens, that's how a lot of these malware uh, scanners work. They understand that these programs aren't supposed to be where they're located, and of course they have huge databases uh, that loads up when you run that type of software. That's another video tutorial, okay? So again, this one here is under Program Files, and then where it should be in particular, instead it's under your sys directory. It's not supposed to be there this is another sign that you have a problem. This is called a Trojan. And then I'll go down the list and then I'll stop the video for today. You got a Trojan, I got, we got two worms here, another Trojan, there's another Trojan and the rest are Trojans at the very bottom I got a worm. So all of these are forms of what's called malware. Okay, now what happens if you wanted to research this, you could click on this link, but what happens is it doesn't always define it uh, directly. It does sometimes. So what I do is I go further. I go through Google and I manually look up every one of these. So look forward to that video. That's going to be coming out soon. Uh, it's going to be very detailed. It may even be a mini series because each video is going to be at least 12 to 15 minutes long. And to go through 11, it might take me, you know. 30 to 40 minutes so be aware it's going to be probably a mini course but it'll be very a very powerful tool that you could use to get the latest of what's going on with malware attacks and WordPress security okay so the last thing I wanted to share with you is when I looked up the this uh, top Trojan it actually said in the detailed notes that malware bytes should catch it well there it is I want to show you Malwarebytes did not catch it. Now it should, and I'm running the premium version of ma uh, Malwarebytes. Now I did what's called a uh, threat scan. Now a threat scan is designed, just real quick for those who are using Malwarebytes, it's a fantastic tool, but let me explain how and when why we should be using multiple tools, malware protection, shields, all kinds of different tools if we don't we're at a major risk of being attacked and we won't even know it so malware bytes in this particular instance didn't catch it now I probably should do what's called a thorough scan uh, next so what I would do is go in and change uh, the settings and go to the main menu and instead of doing what's called a threat scan in malware bytes I would go down and do what's called a custom or detailed scan. Now a threat scan should should have caught it, 
but I haven't done my detailed or custom scan. Now the hyperscan is just a quick scan of your main boot directory, uh, master boot files, and so forth. It does a, a basic introductory because there's so many different ways, and that's another video uh, that malware introduces itself into your system. So be aware that, first of all, in closing, always use multiple tools to protect your local system. You can't just use uh, a virus scanner, which I do use, because it won't catch the malware. It'll just catch certain viruses and the definitions that's been loaded in it. So be aware that I use multiple. So let's just look at it like this. First of all, a lot of us don't want to pay, but you should, you know, in the long term. But you can get some free tools. By the way, the MZSoft tool that I'm using here, the Hijack Free, is actually, this is actually a free uh, program. Now it's not going to be supported much longer from MZSoft, but MZSoft has other malware protection tools that's very similar. Uh, I will present later on this because there's a Windows tool that does something similar, but it's a lot more complex to use. So, so in a nutshell, the three basics, and I'm only saying this because there's many out there, so you don't have to use the three, but you should have at least MZSoft or some type of auto run uh, based program if you're running Windows to catch programs that are being launched without your permission. Okay. Number two, uh, I would I would recommend using this one here. This is called Malwarebytes Anti-Exploit. It's running right now in my tray. It's very small. It updates automatically. You, you can buy the full version, but I'm running the free version. It does work. It works fine. This is what triggered me to alert you of this problem today. Okay. Uh, the third one I would use is called, of course, the uh, Malwarebytes. Now the Malwarebytes here. I'm running the premium version 2.2 and it works quite well but again the developers or the hackers that are writing this complex malware code uh, are aware of all these tools so they're doing their best to avoid them so by using one to three different tools preferably three basic tools it'll get you uh, set up and protected today so thanks for joining me my name is Mark Pierce with everything WordPress Security Alliance have a wonderful day.